Hi everyone, this is Madeline with Madeline Bell Artistry. So some time ago, I think about seven months ago, from the recording of this video, I did one called uh, Beauty Roars and Blossoms. And that was when my face had incidentally had um, silicone in it and I didn't realize it. So I have this same color palette again and I am going to try to recreate that. <laughs> And we'll just see what happens. I'm just going to be using a seven, this 5x7 board to do so. But I have the same colors. And I have this um, magenta. This violet from Master's Touch. Just a little bit left. Um, some of the Artist in Gold. Metallic gold here. And then that base that I had used. So let's go ahead and get started on this. Not gonna try to change anything. I'm just gonna do it the same way I did before. Let's just see what happens. Up to the best of my knowledge, right? It was seven, it was almost a year ago. Okay, so that base is down. It's gonna get rid of some of that excess there at the bottom. Don't want too much on the board. my board okay and I don't remember exactly what it is I did but I'm just gonna go ahead and try to create something fun I'm sure it's different it's okay I can never create the same white over here for some additional contrast and repeat those colors best I can I don't have much of this left but I don't need any to be honest with you because there's just so much color already on this little bitty canvas and last I'm gonna get some gold in there okay I'm gonna go ahead and let's create a little bit of this here to travel on I did not review the video again, so I'm not trying to make it the same. I'm just trying to use the same colors, the same paints that I used from last time. Not only the same colors, but also the same exact paint. So we'll see what happens with this uh, beauty roars. <laughs> Hopefully this beauty will roar, roar right? <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so it is definitely the same paint because <laughs> it's these enormous reactions that I get. So that is this base paint down here. I had gotten it off of scraping my mat at one point and I didn't realize when I created Beauty Roars and, um, and Blossoms that it has silicone in the actual base, not on the top paints, but the base itself. And there you go. Those are the reactions. And just like with the roaring one, I had gotten a, a, an area like this that I went ahead and blew with a straw, I believe it was, and gotten 
a wonderful, fantastic looking dragon thing. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and blow that one out just because it looks like a stick, but I'm gonna do it with a straw. Let me get a straw. This is, I can tell you, this is such a fantastic, happy accident. These are absolutely gorgeous. If you have paints <laughs> sitting around that are like this, you know, you don't have to just save them for the top base uh, for, you know, add-on color. You can actually use them and look at that fantastic on the base and pour some regular colors over the top and you'll get these beautiful reactions with it now beauty roars sold at a at a local gallery along with the matching one that i made with it because i had actually made two so they were sold together so they're enjoying a beautiful life together <laughs> side by side as men which is fantastic now i will say if you're using a deep edge canvas and that's what i encountered with the original one the base because it has silicone in it is going to want to just uh, separate on you so you may either one paint the base on the corners uh, on the sides because you will I have a video on that as well what happened if you go look at that video what happened at the end I had to hand paint it so maybe if you paint it before you won't get that the same color that you add the or a color for them that you add uh, silicone to because it's really difficult. It still wants to react along the sides and you get all these little divots. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and bring you down for a close up on this one. So there it is. It's a beautiful reaction. <laughs> it's just absolutely stunning. Gold comes in to play. This is a beautiful highlights there. Does Kate look? I got another little dragon, I think. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure I keep that one there. There's also a little friend over here. So there you go. It makes some really interesting um, discussion areas, right? <laughs> discussion points. I've got my studio lights really hard to show with the ref reflection but i'll show this again when it's dry so stay tuned and i'll show you the dry results thanks hi everyone this is madeline with Mount artistry welcome back um thank you for hanging in there i have the dry results of the redo of the beauty roars and blossom painting that i have done before and as a video if you look in my channel you'll see it down below so I'm recreating with the same ones and i have the dry results so let's go ahead and get to it so here it is the dry results so with this one if you recall the base had silicone in it inadvertently and the top layers of paints did not so I'll bring you in close so you can see the results of the reactions we get with that. And the details, oh, hopefully we don't get too much of a glare with these studio lights. Yeah, I'll hold it up a little bit. There we go. Look at that, that is just absolutely amazing. And this one was done on a canvas board. If you can see, it's just a five by seven canvas board here just to see if I was able to recreate it. And the painting held up beautifully. This one is not yet varnished, but will be. And the details that come through here. And there you go. <laughs> I think I got another dragon. It stayed there and his little friend down here. The, I just, I can't tell you how much I just love this reaction. I've never really seen it before. It was just one of those happy accidents. 
And the beauty with this thing, so I'll actually have this one available for sale in my store. If you're interested, I have a Wix uh, link down below, you'll see. And it's only $7 and does include shipping to the United States. I will varnish it before it goes out and sign the back, of course. These actually look beautifully framed. So here is an example of one that's framed. And I would not be including the frame. I would just leave that to the buyer to get on their own to save on shipping. Because, you know, you don't have to pay the extra packaging costs to ship something like this. But they just look absolutely beautiful. You're going to frame the match. And those can that's a canvas board also in there of one that I did. And it just looks beautiful matched. And so there it is. <laughs> Here we go again the details if you have colors that you scraped off your mat that have silicone in it you don't have to reserve it just to put on top you know you could put it on the bottom and then add your colors and have your base react with the colors as you blow with a dutch pour an amazing effect. I hope you give it a try. If you have some laying around, that would be fantastic. And there it is. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed it. I absolutely love it. Take care. Bye.